Today we have a very fall, very glam makeup look as you can see by this, you know, introduction right here, but I'm very excited to share it with you. If you want to see how I created this look, make sure you keep on watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here though, my name is Hannah and I upload beauty videos. I would love it if you stuck around and subscribed. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. If you want to see how I created this look though, I know I said keep on watching, but now, if you want to see how I created this look, make sure you keep on watching. Hopefully it doesn't get too warm wearing this sweater. I do really like this sweater though. My best friend Andrea gave it to me. Also, once again, I have breakouts on my chin. Love that. Don't want to talk about it. Um, I do already have moisturizer on and I primed my eyes. I used like the Jergen Self Tan Moisturizer. It also has SPF in it. And then, I wish you could see my plant more. And then I also primed my eyes with the Smashbox 24 Hour Shadow Primer. Like, I'm going to just move my plant in front of my closet because I like it. Does that look weird? Yes, but I want you to see, I want you to see the plant, you're welcome. And then we have this little guy back here. Yeah, he's fake. Can I move the camera where you can see both? I would want to see both. No. Okay, now we're ready to film. A minute and a half in. Um, anyway, I've recently gotten into doing glam makeup again. I just love doing my makeup. I love it as like a creative outlet. I can spend like an hour doing my makeup and it just, it's like my alone time. Sometimes, actually Milo, my dog does like coming in here with me. So like, it's fine if he's in here, but I just, I love, I love doing my makeup and then I'm doing it in front of like this natural lighting. Also, it finally feels like fall. Well, temporarily, I live in Florida and we know that it isn't gonna be a permanent thing, but it has felt like fall recently and it just makes me so happy. But like I rediscovered appreciation for this palette. Like can, like this is like a very fall palette and I just think it's beautiful. So I'm going to use the brush that it comes with and starting off, I'm going to use the shade Cayenne, which is like this medium brown. I love this palette for the colors, obviously it's very fall themed, but also I love the mattes in this. I just, I love maroon, like that's one of my favorite colors. This is kind of like a really pretty rust color. I don't know how this is coming off on camera. But this isn't quite maroon, but this sweater is also very pretty, cozy, and I, I love it. So yeah. This is going to be a very glam look just because once again, I just, I love makeup. I think it's a lot of fun and doing a natural look or like no makeup or a no makeup makeup look is also fun, but it's also fun to just do really glam makeup as well. And that's kind of what I'm into at the time. I may have breakouts on my chin again, but at least, um, I got my eyebrows waxed the other day, so at least my eyebrows look good. Wow, this difference. <laughs> As in like, you know, the one I that I started on and then, you know what I'm talking about? I'm probably going to go, because it's so nice outside, I'm probably going to go on a walk later and I'm about to look very glam on my afternoon walk with my dog. I love both the colors and Fuego. I mean, beautiful. And then I also love Ashes as well. I think I'm going to kind of incorporate both just because I can't decide which one I want to use. And um, so we're gonna use both. If you didn't really think I was gonna do a full glam look, I feel like by now, I feel like by now, are you seeing it? Are you seeing the glam? Are you seeing the beginning of the glam? Oh, this is a Sigma, by the way, this is a Sigma E47, and then this is a Farrah brush. I will, I think I'll, I'll link the products that I use in the description box below if I can find them. I just, I love the mattes in this palette so much. I hope I have enough storage on my phone because I feel like this is going to be a long video based on the fact that we are already almost six minutes in and we're like barely into the eye part of this tutorial. I mean, I'm gonna edit. Obviously, I don't think, you know, the video is six minutes long so far, but my recording, the video that I'm recording right now is over six minutes currently. I normally do 
my makeup first and then my hair, but I, I don't know, I wanted my hair to be done for this video. I think it looks prettier this way for the video, because at least, you know, I don't know. I wanted to do my hair first, so I did. But I normally do my makeup first is what I'm saying, in case you're curious, now you know. Just blending that together some more. Also, I think um, for the foundation part, at least, just because that's pretty repetitive, I'm going to be mixing 20NN and 30NN from the Urban Decay Naked Skin. I probably will not record that, so that'll at least save me some space. <laughs> um, also, at least for the time, I mean, obviously, my office is for sure not put together, but I like the idea of just having like a mirror that I can fold up and put in the desk because I like also using this desk for editing. So, and the way that my windows are, they're like my desk is in front of two large windows. So I wouldn't really want to like hang a mirror in the center part, like, cause there's, you know, like a little bit of wall in between the two windows. I just think, I don't know, I'm not, not really feeling that look. So I'm really happy with my setup so far. I love this desk so much. I think I'm just gonna have to settle with the fact that that is going to be more dramatic than I wish it was. It's not blending out. Maybe I'll try to put a little bit more cayenne there. I'm not gonna try to blend that out. I might be able to blend that out more, but at least for, I don't know that that, I think that looks weird though. I'm very upset with like this right here. No, we're just gonna use my cellar water and we're gonna, that is not going to ruin my look. So I keep, this is my cellar water and like a little spray thing. And this is what I'm gonna do. Go and I'll let that dry. Then possibly put more shadow primer and go from there. I might just actually blend. Oh, so once again, if you hear squeaking in this sense, like that, that's my chair. That is my $5 chair that I get from the thrift store. That is probably going to be here for a while. Because I think I want to get a love seat before I get um, a desk chair, like a permanent desk chair. Because it would be very nice to have a love seat because um, currently, and like this is just me thinking out loud, like I know it's not really that big of a deal. This is um, an E34 by... Sigma, by the way, um, whenever I do watch TV in here, like this chair isn't the comfiest. So actually like last night I sat on the floor for a little bit and I would very much just like to get a love seat or a couch in here at some point. Also, that'll just be like putting the room more together. That'll just be, you know, one step further to having this room together in the way that I would like it. I need to clean off this mirror um, in the palette because I can't see the best what I am doing because the mirror is dirty. I need, I think I just need to like lay this palette out and then maybe I will remember to clean the mirror on it. Okay, that is for the matte shadows. Now I'm going to use um, the other side of the brush that comes with the palette and I'm going to go in with Scorched, with, which is this color right here. This also, this color is so pretty, like I cannot. This is, I mean, I think it's beautiful. It's like a metallic finish. Not quite going to the inner corner because I want to use a gold color on my inner corner. I'm even going to use eyeliner today. Like, I very rarely wear eyeliner, but whenever I say I'm into the full glam, you know it's serious whenever I say I'm going to be wearing eyeliner. I'm going to just use my pinky. This is Top Yacht from Tarte. I'm just going to use my pinky and kind of go in with my inner corner. And this is going to be a little messy, but it's okay because I'm going to apply my... It's messy, but still pretty. I'm going to blend that gold and that kind of um, lid color together a little bit as well, so it's not such a harsh line. Wow, okay, pretty, but it needs to be blended. So I 
I want to see if I can get the look to be even more foiled. Just sprayed some setting spray on this brush. Yes, that is what I wanted to do. I tried to tweak my eye makeup more, and honestly, I'm not super in love with it. And whenever I do a makeup tutorial, I feel like I put this unnecessary pressure that it has to be perfect because I'm like, oh, people are going to recreate this, so like it has to be perfect. But also, this is just me doing my makeup, and maybe it will inspire you as well. Like, it's you know, it doesn't need there doesn't need to be an unnecessary pressure. I've already wet my um, little like tart sponge. I'm going to apply my under eye concealer. I'm trying to do my makeup a little, not do my makeup differently, but like be intentional about using different products instead of just using the same ones every day. Because that also, you know, helps with makeup is fun and making sure that you use your products, you know? So that has also been fun as well. Because I mean, like, don't get me wrong. I love the NARS Laguna bronzer. But I also have other bronzers, you know, just like things like that. Also, I have really been liking this base tape um, hydrating primer, like way more than I thought I would, would because, you know, I have oily, I need to stop. We're just gonna leave the eyes the way they are. I have oily skin and normally, you know, I wouldn't necessarily think that a hydrating primer would be good for me. But I actually like it. Maybe it's just like a combination of that with the foundation that I'm using. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows next. I don't really have like quite set in stone when in my makeup routine I do my brows. So sometimes I honestly like kind of forget a little bit because I don't have a set. You know, not that you have to do things in specific steps, but Anyway, so I'm just gonna do my brows now. This is the Hourglass Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil in the shade Warm Blonde. So speaking of Warm Blonde, I wanna get my hair highlighted again, but I'll probably wait a little bit longer, just cause, you know, whatever. But I do wanna get my hair highlighted again, but also I do kind of like the unintentional shadow root that I kinda of have. Set this with the Benefit Gimme Brow. I have the shade three. I've also been enjoying combining like liquid highlighters with powder highlighters because I really like highlighters. I think I'm going to use this one that I got in my FabFitFun. It's actually kind of, I don't know, whenever I, the first time I used this, I was like, oh, this is a little bit more rose gold than I was thinking it was going to be, but also it's pretty, so. And I think it kind of goes with the tone, you know, the eyeshadow and like my sweater and stuff like that, that theme. This is, by the way, this is from the Beauty Crop. This is the Glow Milk Nourished with coconut milk, illuminating milk for face and body. Set my under eyes, makeup, makeup revolution. Anyway, banana light setting. I'll have it linked, you know. I can't remember exactly what this is called. I know that I said that, you know, I'm trying to use different products. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Powder too. Um, different products and stuff like that. But I love setting my under eyes with that Makeup Revolution product. And also, I do have other setting powders. And I have been using other ones, but also I really like the Urban Decay one. So that's the one that we use today. I think I'm going to use the Hula bronzer because I haven't used this in a while. But I do love this Olimar brush for applying contour. My foundation isn't going to look super blended because I didn't take it down to my neck that much today and I can see foundation whenever I do it like that but then my hair kind of covers it up so I feel like we're just going to go with that. 
being the solution for today. Is that good bronzer? Like it's a good tone, I think. I'm trying to blend this more on my neck. This is the complexion brush I'm going to use this to apply my Tarte blush. Going to use my Becca highlighter in Opal and use the Sigma F35 brush to apply that with. Hopefully you can see this highlighter. Wow, pretty. And then uh, whenever I do my eyeliner, I do a very, like I don't do a dramatic one and I haven't really gotten back into doing a wing. So I don't think I'm gonna do that today either. I truly need to leave my eye makeup alone. Okay, the eyeliner I'm going to be using, I got in a BoxyCharm. This is, I cannot pronounce this brand, but this is the Fierce and Fine Graphic Pen. The brand looks like that. Probably I'm not holding this still enough for you to be able to read it. But once again, if I can find it, I will link it for you in the description box. I'm going to apply eyeliner and then I'm going to apply setting spray. Like a very faint line. Urban Decay setting spray, all nighter setting spray. Curl my lashes and then I'm going to apply that mascara base from Lancome and use the Lancome Launcher Big Mascara and probably some of the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara because I want my lashes to look as voluminous as possible. That is the goal. I want them to look like false lashes without actually wearing false lashes. I love mascara and I just love my lashes to look as luminous as possible. It was just easier for me to finish doing my mascara off the ca off camera, off camera. I don't know, I'm just like feeling more unnecessary pressure than normal, but also I just usually like doing my mascara off camera anyway. We are almost done with the makeup look. I just have some lip products to finish off the look. Okay, I'm going to line my lips and then fill them in with this Beauty Vault lip pencil in the shade Bow Babe. And then over that, I'm going to go with this lip gloss. And then in the very center, I'm going to be using this Becca lip gloss. Just broke off, so I need to sharpen it again. And I'm really sad about that. About it breaking off. You might not be able to see that in the center. Well, you can maybe tell a little bit because this Buxom, not Buxom, why did I say that this was Buxom? This is Pat McGrath. This Pat McGrath lip gloss is very shiny. That's the word I'm looking for. I am now feeling, feeling very fall and I'm really, really loving it. Also, oh, let me get that off my teeth. That's not cute. Also, I do kind of like this tone of my hair with the fall season as well, but also I really like my hair being like really, really light blonde. We'll see. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Also, I'd recommend checking out this video right here. I'll leave it linked for you right here. Thanks again so much for watching. Also, feel free to stick around and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.